Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo ThinkPad T460S. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now keep in mind this large screw right there, you don't have to take that screw out unless we're going deeper into the computer, that's your keyboard screw. So unless you need to remove your keyboard or get into any other deeper part of the computer on that end, we don't need to remove that screw. To take off our bottom case, we have these three screws on top and these two screws here. Depending on your exact model, the screws may actually come out of the computer or they may stay in the bottom case, but just un unscrew from the threading. So either way, unscrew those. Then we're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools can scratch your case a lot more than plastic ones can. We're gonna take the pry tool and go across the seam all the way around and gently but firmly pry up this bottom case from the rest of the computer. As you're doing that, make sure to not put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge. And if you get stuck in one spot and you can't seem to make any more progress, leave it, go to the other side and continue in the other direction. After you've removed your bottom case, this is what we're looking at for the inside of the computer. Now, just a quick note guys on computer repair in general, whenever I'm working on a laptop in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your repair project, there'll be a link above, also below in the description with a, a few of the tools and supplies that I use in my shop. Also, before I touch anything inside a computer, I will either remove or at least unplug the batteries. It makes it safer to work on the computer when as little power as possible is running through it. Now in this model, you actually have two batteries. You have this larger one down here and this shorter one up top. So I'll show you how to get at both of these. For the bottom, you have three screws on top. That's all you have. After undoing those screws, you'll peel up this piece of tape just enough to see that plug. This is not a plug that you have to pull out of the battery and it's not a plug that you have to pull out of the motherboard. It's a sit in plug and I'll show you what it looks like when the battery's removed. So you see those pins right there? So the battery just kind of sits on those pins and plugs in. So as you remove your battery after that tape is removed, you can just take it right off of there. Next, we have the upper battery here. You have a screw here on the right, a screw here on the left, and same thing right there, same kind of plug. You just peel that tape back a little bit and that's a sit inside plug there. As you can see, it looks very similar to the bottom one. So after you get your screws out and you take that tape off, you just pick that battery up from that spot. Okay, so after removing that bottom battery and at least unplugging the top one, you reveal your CMOS battery right down here near the right of my screen. It should be yellow. Maybe some of you will see it wrapped in black electrical tape, but it's stuck down to the computer with double-sided tape. So if you're here to replace this, you can just pop that up fairly easily. As with any wire in a computer, again, try not to pull on the wire if you can help it. And this plug right there has two little grips on either side. So you can use your fingernails if that's not too close, or you can use a pry tool to wiggle that out of that port without pulling on the wires. That link I told you about earlier with all the tools and supplies for your computer projects, I will also include in that link all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer. I'll try to have a CMOS battery option in there as well if you guys need to replace this. If you're here to reset BIOS manually by temporarily removing the CMOS battery, you don't need to pop it off of there. Uh, you can leave the actual physical battery down. You would just need to unplug it from the motherboard. Maybe 15, 20 seconds should be sufficient to reset your BIOS settings. Now, one thing to remind you of this procedure, if you're trying to reset BIOS, this will in most cases not reset your BIOS password. It will just reset the BIOS system settings. So if you're here to reset your BIOS password, this operation most likely won't do it. 
If you're having some sort of problem with your computer that you're trying to fix this way, uh, leave me a message, describe what situation you're having, and I'll try to help you out. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.